Okay, so let S be the part of the surface, Z equals XY inside this cylinder. We want to find the surface area of this surface. SA means surface area. Okay, um, so first of all, you might want to pause this and graph this in GeoGebra or something. This is a saddle, and we want the part that's inside the cylinder. We want the, the surface area of that. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to get a parameterization. Since the surface is given as a graph of a function, the most straightforward one is just to say, r of x, y is equal to x, y, x, y. Um, some of you might realize, okay, well, this is inside a cylinder, so that's circular. So maybe you already want to switch this to polar coordinates, in which case it'd be um, r of theta r equals r cosine theta, r sine theta, r squared cosine theta sine theta. Okay, that would also work, but I'm just going to do it this way. But you'll see we're actually going to switch to polar coordinates when we actually try to do a computation. So remember that the formula for surface area is the integral over the parameter domain D of the magnitude of the derivative with the, 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 the S derivative derivative crossed with the T derivative DS DT. Um, and here, S and T are the parameters. So over here, I'm using X and Y. But in general, I like to use S and T for the parameters. So this is the formula for the surface area. OK, so the parameter domain for us, um, since it lies inside the cylinder, the projection of this shape onto the XY plane is going to be the circle or the disk of radius 4 centered at the origin. So that's what the parameter domain is for us. And now I just need to compute this cross product here. So RX, RX is 1. 0, y, r, y is 0, 1, x. And if you compute their cross products, now for this question, OK, so let me just pause for a moment. For this question, we're taking the magnitude of the cross product. So the direction doesn't matter. Whether we do Rx cross Ry or Ry cross x, when we take the magnitude, we're getting the same answer. Now, when we start doing line integrals, or sorry, service integrals of vector fields, um, then the orientation is going to matter, and we'll have to do a little more work. But in this problem, since we're taking the magnitude, either Rx cross Ry or Ry cross Rx works. OK, and so this. The first component is going to be the determinant of this 2 by 2 matrix. Um, so that is minus y. The second component is going to be negative the determinant uh, formed by the outer two columns. So that's going to be, well, the determinant is x. So minus that is minus x. And then this component is going to be the determinant of this 2 by 2 matrix, which is 1. OK, and then the magnitude, well, let me just let me write this down here. So this means that the magnitude is going to be the magnitude is the square root of x squared plus y squared plus 1. OK, now we can plug this into this formula. OK, so the area, we'll say surface area, is equal to the integral over the parameter domain d of the magnitude of the cross product, so that's this, x squared plus y squared plus 1 dy dx. Now the parameter domain d, this is the disk of radius 4 centered at the origin. So now this right here is a two-dimensional integral. This is just a normal two-dimensional integral. Okay, we're integrating over the parameter domain, which is x squared plus y squared um, is less than or equal to 16. So we're just going to switch to polar coordinates. So this is going to be the integral theta equals 0 to 2 pi. r equals 0 to 4. The square root of 1 plus r squared r dr d theta. OK, you can do this using u substitution. The final answer is 2 pi over 3 times 17 to the 3 halves minus 1. OK, so just remember that this is the formula right here. R is the parameterization. The parameters are S and T. This is the tangent vector with respect to S. 
this is the tangent vector with respect to t. For this problem, it was easiest, in my opinion, just to choose the parameters to be x and y, since uh, the surface is given as a graph of a function. And like I said, uh, you can convert this to pole, you can write this as polar coordinates in the very beginning instead of switching down here. Either one works. Um, but I think doing it this way first is easier. At least computing the tangent vectors are a lot easier than if you had written this as r cosine theta, r sine theta, r squared cosine theta, sine theta. Okay, so that's it for this video.